Hello folks, welcome back to Songs of Six oh, Absurdities, and we're gonna start uh, just a regular old game today. Uh, I have done this once to test it out. I think we go to Random Game, and we're gonna keep everything at normal, and click Go. Hopefully the volume of the game is not as loud as last time. I've turned it down to like 10%. It is a screamer of a game. Uh, we are just going to choose, I think, Cretorians, Cretonians, rather. Um, all species have unique play styles, excel at different works, and have different likings and dislikes. So, Cretonians are the children of Krator, a god of growth, and from their creating father, they have gained skills in farming. They are vegetarians and harmonious creatures. They are also peaceful and not fit for battle. Their favorite foods are fruit, vegetable, and bread. They prefer wooden structures, harmony, and farming work, and that's all that is to be said about them. Initial challenge, easy. They are excellent farmers, peaceful and submissive, easy to please. Worship at inexpensive crater temples. Uh, they are bad industrialists, poor combat morale, and obsessed with food. Okay, fair enough. Confirm. Uh, random seed, random map. Latitude. Um, sure, 32%. There's your random seed, 24457-1497. Generates. Let's make a world. Okay. Things are very white, but I guess that's uh, one way of telling it apart from, from the forest. Uh, oh, for, okay, so we have some information here. Um, climate, temperate, auric pastures, plus 50%. And Teladont Pastures, plus 50%, Fertility 80%, Forest 100%. Spot without uh, without any mineable resources will be more difficult. This location is isolated. Initially you will be left alone by other factions, but there will be little opportunity for trade. A spot with a little fresh water will be more difficult. Okay, so some good information there. Um, we need some fresh water. Okay, they're calling sweet water. Is that considered sweet water? It is. Forest and open lands. Spot without any mineable resources will be more difficult. Uh, how's about... Oh, we can't seem to... What are these? Regenerate and edit terrain. Can't seem to get... Oh, we can get sweet water. 5.5%. Fertility, 79%. A bit of forest. Open land, 83%, plus clay, but it's still complaining about fresh water. Okay, how about this with the stone? Uh, a spot without... Oh, I, I moved off. It's still saying little fresh water, but it's got a river going through it. Is there that sweet, sweet spot with sweet, sweet, sweet water and... Coal and stone and mountain and forest and open land and sweet water. No complaints. Maybe we can, yeah, shift it over. What do you mean with a little fresh water? It's got a whole corner tile of it. It likes the mountain spot more than it likes this spot, but I like not losing a corner to mountain. It becomes 30% mountain. I'm going to choose right there. Okay, and uh, stuff has happened. Okay, so this is Sliven, our capital. This is uh, Pacquio. They have uh, about a thousand Cretonians and um, 124% um, happiness, I'm guessing. 164 Cretonians over there. They're Freelands. They're Pachyl. They're 10.9 um, uh, thousand elven looking people. Hopefully they stay over there. And this looks to be, is that humans? Or is that the dwarven people? Sternak, Sternaknaddy. Sternaddy. Yes, that. I don't know. I mean, whatever. We've we've got it. Options are regenerate, back, home, and okay. Okay. 
hopefully this uh, between the mountains thing hope uh, you know is really good for trade at the end of the water you know to be able to pass between I don't know I'm just trying to come up with with reasons why this is a good spot but I don't have the the knowledge now I did notice if you zoom out like this you have animals growth buildings uh, minerals population that kind of thing showing here but you need to zoom into here to be able to get filters now I would love to see the whole map like this with those filters so for instance if we go overlay we go fertility then you've got to you can't get a good look at the whole map the fertility of the whole map and that's really troublesome to me uh, but we've got really good fertility up there at the crossroads so I'm tempted to start up at that uh, up at this crossroads here you've got the water just off to the side uh, I don't know what this is I'm gonna assume that's mountain and more mountain in the corner Ooh, gems that looks like gems and green stuff maybe copper maybe that's coal we got stone down there we got some weird looking critters there mushrooms those sluggy looking things which whose name I and we've got some pigs okay yeah I'm I'm digging this let's go ahead and this looks really fertile there so maybe we'll start the town on this side of the road or maybe over here and then we'll make the farm over there all right do we build right against it or no let's pull back to what is what is with that is it saying we can't build like that if so why okay whatever let's go right there and uh, we got we got some people we got some uh, Cretonian citizen Sabas Lockwood Terence Shatan, Ilaria McGrunt, great name, Eurist Raposa, Roderick Veyron. Is there a way of renaming these people? This is... I would very much like to rename after my supporters. But I'm missing... Missing the ability to do that. Alright, let's, um, let's move time and see who bows to us the longest. Is this a real thing or just something I picked up? I don't know. Who's bowing to us the longest? Okay, so it's between Sebast Lockwood and Roderick Veyron. Sebast Lockwood. Swearing fealty. Sebast Lockwood, age 23, a Cretonian, Cretonian plebeian, serving at your pleasure as an odd jobber. Uh, is in good health, weighs an impressive 72 stones, and stands 5.3 tays tall. The god of his kin is Krator, of course. Described as being a hopeless romantic, he immigrated to your city, or has immigrated to your city. Originates from a village in the region of Werdik. Has not been shopping for a home, but will look for one soon. Is not enlisted in our armed forces. Has no workplace to go to, but is ready and able to take any odd job your majesty sees fit. Always aspired to be a chef. Feels that there are a few improvements that could be made to the city. Okay. Uh, he wants housing. Wants wells of good quality. Walk around all day trying to... Okay, so he wants a job. And better access to lavatories of good quality. Okay, good for you. I would love to rename you, sir, but I see no way to do it right now. Mark his favorite. Hey, that's cool. All right, so Sebus Lockwood. He's our man. You know it. Okay, so um, trying to call back to the tutorial, which I did uh, several days ago at this point. We need, um, we're going to need a hearth. I remember that. And uh, I want it, yeah, Q and E to make it bigger. Maybe we won't go max size. R to rotate. Let's put 
a hearth there. We're going to need a well. Um, start with a big well, maybe. 20 stone. Four spots. Okay, we'll, we'll start with one small well. And um, then we're going to need, I remember we're going to need a warehouse. So, if we leave a space, maybe we'll go all the way down here. Uh, I kind of wish it gave you the, because I don't know how wide I can make this without having to put supports in the middle. Uh, maybe I'll have to anyways, so maybe we just live with it. Let's try 6 by 17. Ah, that looks to be a good shape. And we'll get crates. Well, that worked out really well. What? What are you talking about? Okay, we'll do small ones over here. And then we need doorways. I'll do one at either end, and we'll do some at uh, midpoints. So one there, skip one, put one there. Could be better denoted. Um, it's it's kind of hard to make out what's a door and, and what's a wall. I mean, maybe my eyes will train to it in the future, but Right now, I look at it and it's just it's just blocks, right? Um, yeah, construct. So that's going to be our main warehouse for the time being. What was that? Oh, yeah, right. So people are going to start working away at this stuff. And um, what's next? They're going to need a lavatory. We're going to need farms. Um, is there like wood cutting? Wood cutter. Wood cutter construction. Okay, I don't want to make a whole building. I just kind of want to cut some down. There was a forage option. Must be placed on edible vegetation. Be, be nice to know what edible veg vegetation looks like. Because I have no idea if anything here is... Do I have to go over somewhere like this? Yes. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. So forage a little bit of all of this stuff, if you will, please. My dudes. And then we should hopefully just have, you know, a source or maybe some seeds. with which to start off with. Not a whole lot going on there. I don't want to, uh, I'd like it to, to regrow if possible. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but they did in the tutorial talk about managing the, the herds. You don't want to slaughter them all. Um, I don't know if it's worthwhile going for meat because we are Cretonians. I don't know if that makes sense. I think it's more like because we're we like bread and stuff, right? All right, this is going to take a little while to build, I guess. So I'll come back to it in a second. And the hearth is just getting finished up, which is nice. So it looks like we have a nice big hearth there. We've got one little well in and the warehouse is still building. And the roof is going on. The last couple walls are being built. And then I imagine they build, yeah, all the things. What are we, what are we saying here? Um, this job needs a resource that is unattainable in your city before it can be performed. What are you talking about? Wood? You need wood? 
We have wood there. Okay. Um... Activate job. Carpenter. Maybe we do just need to build a woodcutter. Oh, fell tree. Yeah, start taking down some trees in the area, please, guys. What is this stuff here? And how could I tell? Oh, holding right click tells me it's a flower. Okay, good fertility. And we got some wood coming down. And it looks like that has spurned on the creation of some floors or something. Is that, is that what's going on? What is this stuff here? Uh, rock. Okay. Is there like a gather rock job? There's that forage. Janitor. Yes, they, they, they told us we need a ja janitor. We're going to need a lavatory. There's a lot that we need to do. Return water. Huh. Move throne. Onyx. Onyx or onx? That's going to be hard to remember. Stone mine. Uh, we have to actually build a whole building for that. Torch. Tree, well, workstation, woodcutter. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that... Well, I guess... Uh, how do we... We have no cut stone. We have no stone. Workforce. Housing. Population. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is just kind of saying we have nothing. We just have people. Uh, it's saying we have no wood, but also because I don't think anything's configured in the warehouse. Do you wish to refurnish this room? No. No, I'd, I'd like them to finish that room. Uh, okay, they're building it. They're building it. No, no, don't refurnish. Let's wait and see what happens here. There we are. We have we have a warehouse. Now, so I want to put one person in there as a delivery man. Um and then we want to assign these crates to various insufficient workers allocated. Um maybe we need two insufficient work. Maybe I made too big of a warehouse to begin with. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to have to deal with insufficient workers. Uh, we want storage for wood. For stone. For whatever that is, because I told them to get it. Same with that. Grain. Cotton. This is fabric that looks, it's all manufactured goods and stuff. Uh, this and this and this. Eggs would be cool. Drink. Bread. We're going to want to make some bread. And that's rations. Okay, we'll we'll start with that. Uh, crates. We're at 10 of 27. Upgrade. Boost. Um, requires 56. I'm going to say that's furniture, but I have no idea what it actually is. Refurnish room. Delete. Lists. Turn off activity for this room. Encyclopedia. Okay. Well, anyways, we have a warehouse. That's good. Hopefully we have dudes. Um, I guess everybody's cutting wood right now, which is not the worst thing ever. Ah, I do see people storing stuff. So, they're storing some stone. Got 44 stone, 39 grain. Mushroom, bread, okay. 
So they've laid out pallets for certain things, it appears. Vegetable, mushroom, opiate. What? There's opiates? Herb, cotton, fruit. And then a lot of them aren't, uh, <clears throat> aren't assigned yet because we didn't need to. What is this saying? Warehouses, 44 of 80. So we are, we have stored all the wood that we can store. So we should maybe increase that by a couple so we can store 240 wood. That puts us at 12 of 27. Um, maybe we'll increase the raw stone as well. Wow, we, we cut a lot of wood. I probably cut more than was necessary. Okay. I think it's probably time for, what did they say, a, a janitor? To help maintain buildings. And I want to leave a gap of three. And we'll make a building... I don't know, is that the size of our, our hall or is that the size of our hall? I don't know, let's start there. Utilities. Workstations. Ooh. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's try that again. So we're gonna have to go a little bigger. What do you... What? What? Why? Why you gotta do that to me? I'm... It's... I don't like the, uh, the you have to erase everything. Like, cause I don't... I'm having a hard time knowing exactly what I'm doing here. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't quite agree with that. Okay, that'll do. And let's put in a door there and a door there. And hit the check mark. Okay, there's that. Uh, that's the janitor. Let's get a lavatory. Of, say, that size. Basins. Here. The train. There. Doorway. Well, that's the easiest one yet. Right there. Maybe on the sides as well. Check mark. Okay. And we have yet to build a house. Uh, in tutorial or otherwise. So where are we going to do our housing? Maybe we do housing across the street. Across the road. I am curious. Um, remove water. Roads. If we straighten this out a little bit. And then... Remove a little bit, just to straighten up the road. I think that'll make me just a little bit happier. So we're gonna, we'll have a nice straight piece of road with which to, to base the rest off of. Uh, we have a space of three on either side. Maybe we'll make those roads in the future. Uh, for now, let's just use it to inform where we're going to put our first house. I think I'll leave a gap of one. Whoa. Hello. That functions differently. Houses are a set size. 
We don't have to build houses. Is this going to screw with things now? Of course it is. Um, okay, build a house. I'm changing my mind on that. Really don't know what the difference between remove and smart remove are. Okay, we're going to put houses on this side. We'll do block of three houses like that. Semi-detached, I guess you'd call them. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, jeez. That didn't work out. You can just make them bigger. Apartment, longhouse, house. Maybe we put a longhouse in the middle. Or just uh, a longhouse on either side for now. That's what we'll do like that. Hopefully that's enough housing for people. We'll we'll find out. Wow, well, getting some of the basics set down. Anyways, uh, we got some some wood cut. In fact, probably more than we're able to store right now. So let's expand that. We're filling up our warehouse with wood, which seems seems unnecessary. Uh, you know what we might do is straighten out this piece of road as well. Like so. And then erase the road on either side. Really? Not so smart. Not so smart remove. Oh, you're going to drive me insane. Okay, we got there. We got there. Oh, we're going to make some grids, folks. I hope you like grids. Uh, so that's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's a good start. Let's move some time along. Let them catch up with everything. Um, yeah, janitor construction coming along nicely. I assume we're going to have to... Oh, employment, two. Okay. Two of two. I'm down. Available services, four of four. Upgrade, zero of two. Requires eight tile. It uh, requires tech bathing. Okay, there's tech too. Messages, battle, world. Uh, Denari, technology and stuff. Oh my god, there's... Yeah, there's so much to read. And that's our main menu. Six housing. We haven't even finished a house. How is that true? Also, what do you require? You need furniture. Okay. Um, carpentry? Let's, let's say it's a carpenter we need. And do we want to maybe just put the carpenter down here to fill this space? Yeah, why not? Multi-use neighborhoods, man. It's the way to go. Auxiliary station, add effects to the room, efficiency plus. Storage. That seems like a lot of storage. Let's put some storage there. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. 
What's the auxiliary station look like? Like that? That might be too many auxiliary stations, not enough storage, or too many workstations, who knows? Let's build it anyways. Uh, construct. Room will be blocked. Yes, put, place doorways. It needs a door. Door there. Door there. Door there. Construct. Alright, how are we looking on housing still? Six. And I will speed things along. And we'll get some of this made, hopefully. Oh yeah, they're building... Oh, the road's gonna look different. Uh, okay, we'll we'll deal with it. We'll replace it all in the future, I guess. There was a guy splayed out on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Starving to death. Oh, ho, ho, jeez. Uh, looks like we need to get some more food really fast. Uh, what what is this stuff, anyways? Right click. It is wild opiate. Okay, that's not what we need right now. Well, maybe it is what we need, so they don't suffer when they starve to death. This is wild herb. Is that something we can eat directly? That's wild grain. What about? Nice tunes. Mushrooms. Wild vegetable. That seems like something that would be good. Uh, why don't we have more people foraging? They haven't. They haven't foraged for any of the stuff I wanted them to forage. Um. Okay. Maybe they do need food. Like, maybe we do have to hunt something. Where are these stupid pigs? It's so hard to see things. Here they are. Entelodont, a ferocious four-legged mammal. Uh, an entelodont can both feed a family for several days, as well as inspire fear in the hearts of hunters. Their thick hides can blunt and impact the impact of any hunting weapon if not used with enough strength. While its ferocity and fearlessness often lead the hunters of these creatures to at best lose their pride and at worst their lives. We're desperate. Do we go for, do we go for those or do we go over for Oryx instead? Um, because I remember in the tutorial we managed to get an Oryx without too much difficulty. Hunt. Thirty-two and twenty-nine. But it might be too late for our people. Who knows? Yeah, starving to death. Get up! You're not starving! Go hunt! <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> I'm assuming that the, this is what is letting us know they're starving. <laughs> oh my. The uh the flashing thing telling us something is wrong. Um I forget how it was that we accepted immigrants. Aspiring immigrants zero. Okay. Aspiring immigrants one Don Dorian. One of those, one of those. I think I would like to keep our settlement just Cretorians for now. Cretonians, sorry. So, I don't know. I would like... I would like to accept more people, but they don't want to come here. I wonder why. There's no friggin' food. Uh, it'd be nice if I could, yeah, like have people go off and get the food, but they just want to build. And I think, is there something wrong here? Missing resources. Like what? <laughs> like what? It would be nice if I knew what the missing resources was. Janitor number one. 
Accident rates, cool. Employments, janitor one. Workload 100%. Okay. Insufficient workers allocated. I mean, when when you increase the employment and it says insufficient workers allocated, I don't know what that means. Is there not enough workstations? I mean, there's two in there. There should be. So that's that could be clearer. Or I could be smarter and just know what it means, I guess. Interesting track. Well, I think uh, I think in the future, starving to death. I think in the future I should focus less on building, and more on just getting basics like food down. Uh, and um, this appears to be. It doesn't tell me how much uh, how much housing this is. What are you doing? Starving to death? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's, uh, it's been, it's interesting anyways. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to play more of this, but maybe we'll just come back and start fresh and focus on food because these people are all dying and not doing things. Yep. Maybe I could study up and get good as well. Have a look at a couple of tutorials that other people have put together. I, I am kind of interested in coming at it from a fresh perspective, but at the same time, uh, a string of restarts does not sound like great entertainment. But you guys let me know. Should we just start fresh, taking lessons on board, um, and then, or just trying to pull this one up by the bootstraps? Uh, that would be good to know, because they're, they're just not doing, they're not doing the things I want them to do right now. Wild herbs. Can you guys eat these? I don't know. It, they, they just don't say anything other than starving to death. They're not doing what we want them to do. Um... What if I were to put down a farm real quick? Like a vegetable farm. Yeah, I think I missed the boat. I think I got so focused on building a, a wicked awesome warehouse and, and that kind of stuff that... Uh, the people are just miserable and unwilling to do anything now. Wow, this is the fastest I've ever lost a game. Have I lost the game? I actually don't even know. It's day two of Autumn, the first year. It's not our second day, but we haven't played many days, that's for sure. And immediately they're starving to death. Uh, workforce seven needed three, employees ten, odd jobbers seven. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss as to, uh, as to what to do about that, other than start by doing a little hunting and foraging at the very start of the game. Uh, get them some food, then build, pardon me, then build the warehouse. All right, I guess that's what we'll do in the next. Thanks for watching. Thanks for suffering with me. And, uh, yeah. Again, thanks to uh, Jake for uh, giving me an early copy of his game. Uh, I do appreciate it. And we're going to get good. Don't worry. It's just it's going to take a little time and there's going to be some pain. But that's learning in a nutshell, isn't it? All right. Have a great rest of your day, folks. I'll see you in the next. Bye for now. Oh, the pain. My tummy, oh, my tummy hurts.